Hi guys, welcome back to the workshop. Uh, today I'm going to build a new welding table. I've got my current welding table here in front of me. It's a one inch thick steel plate sat on top of an old office desk. Uh, the office desk's a bit nice for the workshop really and it gets a bit damp in here in the winter and it's getting a bit spoiled. So that's going to go back into the house and I'm going to build a purpose made frame for the, for the welding table and a bit of storage underneath, nothing too fancy, a few holes in the top for clamping down um, but it'll be heavy duty and it'll be mobile um, and hopefully it'll, it'll last a long time and, and serve as a good surface for doing a bit of work. Hope you enjoy! Right, so I'm going to start by just cutting some 2 inch steel box for the legs and the frame and then tack it all up and then I'll fully weld it, give it a bit of paint, tidy up etc and put the top on. So it's going to go together something like this. So to start with, I'm just getting everything squared up and clamped down so that when I weld it, it doesn't start moving around and distorting. Um, you'll notice probably straight away that one of the shortcomings of this table is that I don't have any way of clamping this piece down. So what I'm going to do is drill a load of holes in this. Um, in reality, it probably makes sense to do it now and then I can use the holes to actually make the rest of the table. Um, but I've started now, so well, I'm just going to do it this way. That's the frame all welded up. Uh, I've got to cut some plates to mount the casters to. I've got a new toy the other day that I'm really looking forward to trying out, so we're going to give that a go and then I'll get those welded on and get some wheels on it. I've got myself a plasma cutter. This is ace. Got 125mm casters with locking swivel and locking wheels, um, non-marking wheels as well, so hopefully when I do eventually get around to painting the floor, then, well, they won't mark it. All right, let's get them welded on. There we go, frame's all welded up. I'm going to put a couple of coats of paint on it now before I put the top on because uh, once the top goes on it's going to be a bit too heavy for me to move around so paint now then top.
Right, so while the first coat of paint's drying, we're gonna have a go at sticking some holes in this steel tabletop. Now, ideally, I'd wanna use a mag drill for this, but I haven't got one of those, and they're really expensive, and I can't afford one. So, what I have got is an old Pollard um, production drill um, that was designed for being screwed down to benches and things like that. Um, so, I'm gonna see if I can mack all that into something that will work, maybe come up with some, something to clamp it down to the table and then use that to try and drill all the holes. Before I do that, I'm just going to go over the surface of the table with the wire wheel on the angle grinder, clean up any rust and marks and stuff, and then when I come to mark out, it'll be on a nice clean surface. sure I'm going to need to clamp this down. This might work really well. Almost halfway. I'm starting to regret this decision. This is taking ages. Oh well, started, so I'll finish. Well, hey, you've got two thirds of the holes drilled. You'll notice I haven't drilled uh, these two rows here. That's because if you look underneath this plate, there's two bits of um, steel C section welded on and when I drill these rows here, the drill bit's going to hit the edge of that steel section and it's probably going to break the drill. So, I'm going to flip this over, cut those bits of C-section off and then turn it back over and drill these holes. That's all the holes drilled. Got the tabletop flipped over now, so we're looking at the underside. And I'm gonna weld on some little M10 weld nuts. These are so I can screw down from the top and, and clamp down anything that I'm welding. So the nuts welded on, all I've got to do now is turn it over, put it on top of the trolley and make a shelf and then I'm done. Brilliant! So that's the finished table. I'm really happy with how it's turned out. 
I think one thing that would have made this project a lot easier would have been having a workshop crane. Um, turning this plate over to weld the bottom and drilling the holes and moving it around and putting it on top of the frame and that was a real challenge. The plate's about 130, 140 kilos. So my next project is definitely going to be building a crane for the workshop. So if you want to see that, stick around, hit that subscribe button and thanks for watching.